Welcome to the Occult Chronicles, Realms Unveiled, where the veils between reality and mysticism grow thin. Journey with us as we delve deep into the enigmatic worlds of magic, the occult, and witchcraft. Here, we unravel chilling tales where the arcane meets the real, stories that aren't just mere folklore, but spine-tingling encounters from the shadows of everyday life. Blurring the lines between the tangible and the supernatural, we bring to you a blend of harrowing true crimes and tantalizing tales crafted by our very own, showcasing the mesmerizing yet perilous dance between the mystical and the mortal. So, light a candle, cast your protective circle, and let's unveil the realms that lie just beyond our comprehension. Prepare yourself, for once the unseen is seen, there's no turning back. Stay spellbound, and always tread with caution. Today, we have two tales, one of vanity and the other of pure darkness. The first tale, The Reverend's Dark Redemption. In the small town of Fairfield, Alabama, the bells of St. Augustine's Church ring out every Sunday, calling its devout flock to worship. The congregation looked up to Reverend Elijah Mitchell, a charismatic figure with an aura that made people trust him implicitly. His sermons spoke of redemption, grace, and the importance of community. Little did they know, beneath the surface of this devout man lay a sinister secret. Rumors began to spread about several townsfolk who had mysteriously vanished over the years. Each disappearance bore a common thread. Before vanishing, they named Reverend Mitchell as their insurance beneficiary. But nobody dared to voice these suspicions openly, for who would suspect a man of the cloth? The whispers of the town remained hushed, murmurs behind closed doors. However, things took a dark turn when young Lily Thompson, a 16-year-old choir singer with a voice as pure as an angel, went missing. Her absence struck a chord in the heart of Fairfield, especially with her cousin Maddox. Maddox had always been wary of Reverend Mitchell's overly friendly demeanor towards Lily. Desperate for answers, Maddox started his own investigation. Late one evening, he stumbled upon a hidden room in the church basement. Inside were countless personal belongings, tokens from each of the disappeared, and among them, Lily's cherished locket. Maddox's heart raced as he connected the dots. The Reverend Pastor's secret lair unveiled a chilling tale of greed and deceit. Maddox's sorrow turned to fury. Two Sundays later, as Reverend Mitchell delivered a sermon on the perils of temptation, Maddox stood up from the pew, eyes blazing with anger. The congregation watched in shock as he brandished a weapon, accusing the pastor of his heinous crimes. Voices cried out in a mix of disbelief and terror. The church, once a sanctuary of peace, became the stage for a vengeful reckoning. The events that transpired that day remain etched in the town's history. Reverend Mitchell met a gruesome end, but the church's bells still ring, serving as a haunting reminder of the treachery that once festered within its hallowed walls. For Fairfield, the echoes of that tragic day are a testament to the depths of human depravity and the burning fire of vengeance that can reside in a broken heart. And now, what happens when vanity gets the best of you? Hear now the allure of vanity. Amelia Ray, with her raven locks and sun-kissed skin, 
was the epitome of modern beauty. With each perfectly angled selfie, she captured the hearts of thousands on Instagram, using her platform to showcase a life of luxury, exotic travels, and endless parties. The world envied her flawless figure, and Amelia knew just how to exploit it. Men were mere pawns in her game, easily seduced and then discarded once they had outlived their usefulness. Her mantra was simple, beauty was power, and she wielded it without mercy. One fateful day, an enticing message slid into Amelia's DMs. A mysterious admirer from Dubai offering her a trip to the desert paradise, all expenses paid. The deal? To grace an exclusive party with her presence and dance. And the cherry on top? An exquisite diamond necklace and a limited edition designer bag. The lure of easy money and luxury blinded Amelia and without a second thought, she was on the next flight to the UAE. Upon her arrival, Amelia was escorted to a sprawling mansion, its opulence rivaling that of palaces. But as the night descended, the atmosphere shifted. Instead of a regular party, she found herself amidst hooded figures, chanting in a tongue she couldn't recognize. Panic surged as she realized she was the centerpiece of their dark ritual. The evening grew more sinister. Amelia, once the seductress, was now the prey. Subjected to their cruel games, her once pristine beauty marred with scars, both physical and emotional. But in the sea of masked faces, one set of eyes seemed familiar. One of the cult members, Hassan, recognized Amelia, not from her glamorous posts, but from a heartfelt video she once shared about her elderly mother. He remembered the love and concern in Amelia's voice as she spoke of her mother's frail health. That spark of humanity made Hassan intervene. He pleaded with the cult, invoking ancient codes and debts owed to him. Reluctantly, they agreed to release Amelia, but not before warning her of the price of vanity. Broken and scarred, Amelia returned home. Her Instagram now told a different story, one of introspection, growth, and gratitude. She realized that her beauty, once her only currency, was fleeting. Genuine connections, love, and kindness were the true treasures. The tale of Amelia serves as a chilling reminder. Beauty can be a double-edged sword. And in the relentless pursuit of vanity, one might just lose their very soul. As the curtains draw to a close on today's episode of Realms Unveiled, we are reminded of the intricate tapestries of fate that entangle us. From the ominous corridors of a southern church in Alabama, where Reverend Mitchell's insidious schemes were laid bare, to the dazzling allure of the Middle Eastern deserts where Amelia's life took a nightmarish turn, both tales echo the timeless lesson that our choices have consequences. Reverend Mitchell's hunger for wealth at any cost led to a tragic dance with destiny, while Amelia's pursuit of vanity found her trapped in a chilling ritual where the line between allure and danger blurred. But each story, in its unique way, emphasizes the idea of redemption, of second chances, and the unpredictable paths life takes us on. So, as you step back into the rhythm of your day, dear listener, remember to look beyond the surface. For in every shadow there's a story, in every face a tale, and who knows, maybe the next story we unveil might be one that strikes a chord closer to home than you'd think. Thank you for joining us today. Don't forget to tune in next time as we unravel more dark tales and forbidden chronicles from the hidden corners of our world. Remember, in the realms unveiled, nothing is as it seems. 
Until next time, keep your eyes open, your mind sharp, and your spirit curious.